Run GitHub Actions using Jenkins. GitHub Actions run when you make a commit to a GitHub repository. But what if you want to go ahead and test out the changes that you're making to GitHub Actions without having to commit and push? There is an open source project named ACT that allows you to run GitHub Actions locally. In this video, we're going to look at how to use ACT with Jenkins to run GitHub Actions. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.1. Attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent that has Docker installed on it. Now you might be asking, why is Docker installed? We'll get to that in just a few moments. And finally, there's also a sample repository for this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. So let's go ahead and take a look at the documentation for ACT. You can find this documentation at github.com slash nectos slash ACT. So how does this work? What we have to have in order to do the installation is we have a prerequisite. We must have Docker installed on our agent. Therefore, that's why I have Docker installed on my agent in order to run these workflows. Now, currently I'm running a Linux-based agent, so I just installed Docker on that agent. I've also installed the ACT CLI on that agent as well. Now, there's one other thing that happens when you run ACT for the very first time on a machine. If you scroll down to the section that's called First ACT Run, it says when running ACT for the first time, it will ask you to choose an image to be used as the default. There's no way to set this up programmatically. You must run this manually. So when I went in, I just accepted the defaults and it created an .actrc file for me within my home directory. Now I'm connecting from my controller over to the agent via SSH. So I made sure that when I ran the CLI, I was using the same user on the agent as the user that I'm connecting as from the Jenkins controller. Now, if we scroll back up to the top, when they're introducing how does it work. The very last line of this is, let's see it in action with a sample repository. Well, what I've done is I've forked the sample repository and it can be found at Darren Pope slash GitHub dash actions dash demo. And you can see that it's forked from CP Lee. This is the re repository that's referenced here under sample repository. I've made one change to this repository and that's that I've added a Jenkins file. So let's go ahead and look at our Jenkins file. What we have is very basic Jenkins file to where we're going to verify the ACT installation. So we'll say ACT dash dash version. We're going to run the entire pipeline. So in order to do that, there's nothing fancy about it. It's just executing the ACT command. We can see this by going back over to the documentation for ACT. And when we take a look at the example commands, what we're going to see here is if we run ACT, if no event name is passed, it's going to default to on push. And also, and if we want this to run the on push, then we can see just run the default push event. If we wanted to run a specific event such as pull request, we would specify which event that we want to run. Now, if we go back over and take a look at this example repository, what we'll do is we'll take a look inside of GitHub workflows and take a look at main.yaml. And we can see that the only event that's defined here is on push. And then what we're going to do is run an npm install and an npm test. Again, this repository is forked from the example repository. So let's take a look again at our Jenkins file. So we'll run act. Since we're not specifying an event, it will run the event for on push. And then finally, we're going to take a look at the execution graph. And we can see that by going coming back over to the definition and we can see list all actions for all events. So let's go ahead and go back over to our job. And let's verify the configuration for this job. So we'll click on configure. We can see that we're pointing at the correct repository. We are on the correct branch. That is true. And then finally for our Jenkins file, I haven't defined the correct name there. So we'll say Jenkins file dash basic, click on save. And let's go ahead and click on build now and see what happens. So by clicking on build now, we see that the correct version of ACT is installed at 0.2.35. And then we can see that ACT takes over and starts running the main.yaml file. And this can take a few moments. so. We'll fast forward through this. Now that it's completed, we can see that when we list out, if we take a look back at act-l, list all actions for all events, we can see that it was a single stage, the workflow name was CI, the workflow file was main YAML, and on event push, which was the only thing that we had defined. But if we take a look back at the output from act, we can see that it started a Docker pull, a Docker create, Docker run. So it did our successful checkout. If we take a look at main YAML, within this definition, we're doing a checkout, a setup node, an NPM install, an NPM test. 
We can see our checkout. We can see setup node, that completed. We can see that we successfully ran npm install. And finally, we can see that we successfully ran npm test. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.